Then you start walking over to the Vietnam Memorial, and it's like it comes right out of the ground, and you, you have pause, you stop. So now as you get closer, this is reality now. This is 58,000 dead people. Now my uh, guardian, she was great, great. I give her the list. There was 11 names on it, not 10. And she figured out how we're gonna find everybody. We started looking at the names, and the difference between looking at the name and actually touching it, it brings life to that name. And you, you sit there, and say, I knew this guy. So naturally I had to tell the lady how each one of them got killed. And I don't know if she wanted to hear it or she didn't, but I had to tell somebody. It was somebody has to notice. So then my best friend is at the far end of the wall to the east. By now my emotions are shot. Man, I mean, I'm bawling like a baby. I'm shaking. And this little volunteer lady comes up. And when I say an older woman, she's younger than me. And she says, I think you should have that name uh, stenciled. I said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. So she did. And I thanked her very much. She gave me a big hug, which was nice. I'm at peace now. Some, somehow, I feel they're not forgotten and they're taken care of.